So in this short tutorial, I'm just going to show you about how you can set up and find your API and also how you can find your list and audience ID. So an API stands for an application programming interface. And I suppose it can be helpful to think of the API as a way for different apps to talk to one another. So for many users, the main interaction with the API will be through API keys, which allow other apps to access your MailChimp account without you giving out your password. So an API key, when you hand that over to your web developer or your app developer, by giving them that information, they can then integrate both systems so that their app is talking directly with MailChimp. So it could be that you want to pull data into your lists. So it could be a CRM system, for example, and keeping and making sure that your list in MailChimp is constantly kept updated with the CRM in your company. Um, so an API is a really useful tool. So in order to do that, you need to find it in MailChimp. And if you don't have one already, you need to generate it. So it's quite simple to do. You just want to go into your account on the bottom left, click on account and go to extras and then API keys. And you'll come to this page here. And as you'll see, I already have one listed that is on and um, abled at the moment but you may have none here so just click on create a key and it will generate a key that looks like this and you would copy and paste that API key and give that to your app developer if you want multiples i.e you're working with different companies on different projects and you would create a key for each company that would be my advice and um, the reason being that should you not be working with a company going forward you can disable their key so it no longer works but all your others will still be active with the other companies that you're working with so it's as simple as that in terms of creating a key now what you need to do as well is look at a list id now the list id is for example if you're pulling data through and you want to maybe have an automated campaign that you're running and as soon as they get pulled into that list they'll start on the automated campaign it could just be that um, you need the list ID because you have a number of different audiences within your account and you need to let the developers know which audience list that that particular information is going into. So once they have the API key, you then need to go and find your audience list ID. So you would go into your audience on the left, go to whichever audience it is that you're after. So they'll be listed under here. I just have the one. Go to Marketing Minds Academy, which is my example here. And if you go to settings and audience name, what you will find here is your audience ID. So typically what you'll need to give to the web app developers, if it's data transfer into different audiences, you'll need to give them the API key and you'll need to give them the list ID. Hopefully that's been really useful for you. Please do subscribe and follow, like the videos, please feel free to comment. Um, I check the comments seven days after I've posted. And if there's anything else that I can do a tutorial on for you, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thank you.